Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. I am so excited that you've happened upon this video and if you like what you see, then please feel free to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. So, in today's video, I created this look. I hope you like it. Using all products which I have been influenced to buy from influencers or people that I follow online or YouTubers, things like that. So yeah, I just thought it was quite fun. I love getting recommendations from people, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite easily influenced. I see someone look good with one product and I'm like, that's gonna do that exact thing for me. It's a bit of an issue, it's a spending issue. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's why people are called influencers because they influence, and yes, I'm easily influenced. So that is what the premise of today's video is. I had fun filming it. I did things a wee bit different in my makeup routine, so I was a wee bit uncertain, but we got there in the end. And I think, what do we think? It looks okay. I'm literally about to walk out the door. So I hope you enjoy. Let the video roll. Okay, let's go. So zoomed in because we're gonna start with the eyes. So I'm just gonna prime my eyes. Now, as you, I will have already said in the intro, in today's video, I am using majority of makeup which I have been influenced into buying by the sheer volume of beauty content that I consume and the people that I follow. I'm very easily influenced, honestly. But the first product that I'm using is actually just something I found online, which I've not been influenced into, so good start. So I'm actually starting with my eyes today because I'm wanting to do a kind of grungy-esque eye makeup and I don't want like black eyeliner to go like all over my face, so yeah. Does this look weird with my ears like tucked in? Would it look weirder with them tucked out? I feel like if I tuck them out, they'll be like. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tuck them in. In you go. Look at all the broads that I've got all over this. Hee <laughs> hee. Oops. This is the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. Put a bit much on. Okay, now I look appropriately mental. Now I'm gonna go in with eye shadow. So. These are Natasha Denona Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. I have Mini Sunset and Mini Nude. And both of these were influenced by a YouTuber called Samantha March. So Samantha mostly does like kind of beauty content. That's basically all of her content is like makeup related stuff. But she uploads like all the time. I watch her every week. Um, she just seems really lovely. She also does loads of like chatty videos which I'm really into. So yes, she influenced me into not these specific palettes but she really vouches for the Natasha Denona eyeshadows. So I was like, you know what? I'll give my bash. I got these for Christmas. I have tried them out quite a few times. The look that I'm gonna do today, I've done a few other times but I'm, I'm adding liner today which I don't normally do. And it's with this one, the mini nude. So yeah, I'll just get into it. Also, it's so windy. You can probably hear it. It's like mega, mega, mega windy. So. That's the thing. So I'm gonna go in with this shade called, oh shit. Oh fuck off, I just put my finger right in one of the shimmers. Eh. Nice fingerprint in there now. Um, So I think it's called Sienna. I've actually not done this look with the eye base before. I just added it just to see the kind of difference that it would make. So I'm quite nervous. And also I'm used to not doing my eyes first. So I feel like I'm gonna look a bit mental for a while. So yeah, if you don't follow Samantha March and you're into kind of makeup content, I would recommend it. Every week she does like a Will I Buy It video and it's just kind of talking through all the new makeup and just chatting about like what's come out and if she'd buy it or not. Um, it's kind of in the name. But I find it really interesting. I don't actually purchase that much makeup in the grand scheme of things. And to see the sheer volume of makeup that comes out every week is kind of mental. So I like those videos. Also, Please ignore this. I've got like a big patch of dry skin on my neck. <laughs> it's in a really unfortunate place and I don't know why. Um, so yeah, it's just really, really nice for you. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the kind of darker shade. This is called Soil. Yep, Soil. I think I got the, sh the first one wrong. I think it's called Coin. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not very good at understanding these. I do think the base has made a difference with these shadows. Like I've used that that first one quite a few times and it's never been quite as vibrant as that. So good to know, good to know. I need new makeup brushes. This is like the brush that I use all the time and it's getting rough. Like it's getting so rough. So I need a kind of fluffy brush like this. My other ones that I have, they're not this shape and I really like it. This is just a BH Cosmetics one. I think when you do your eyes first, it's all just about trusting the process because it always looks mental. I'm gonna go in with the star of the show from this palette, which I think is this shade here. I think this one's nice as well, but recently I've been using this one and it's so kind of not like any other shade that I have. I think it's called Sienna. <laughs> I think that's the one. And it's just so beautiful. 
I'll just show you because I think it's gorgeous. I just put it on my fingers and then kind of tidy up the inside with a brush. So let's just go for it. Can you see that? I think it's gorge. Yeah, I really like it. It's got like almost kind of yellow little glitters through it, but they're not intense. They're really, really nice. I'm going to pop on the inside bit with this wee, these ones. It's the brushes that you get in the Naked palettes. I think they're really good for like packing on shimmers. And then afterwards, I think I am going to go in and like fix the, put more matte up there, but I just didn't want to do it before. Even with a brush, it is nice, but I do think it applies nicer with your finger. These wee palettes, oh, I've said $18. I think they're £22. I will confirm that and I'll put it in writing if it's wrong. I think they're £22 though. I know it's expensive for five shades, but I think the quality is... Oh, I took that shimmer too high. The quality is good. I think it's just a really interesting colour. I don't know, I like it. Like, I don't really have another one that's like this. So I think it's nice. Okay, I'm going to go back on the mattes just to, like, tidy up at the front. I don't know if I've messed it up by doing that. I fear I might have. Hmm. I'll keep it like that for now, but I might fix it later. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the black eyeshadow from this palette. This is by Sof Does Life on YouTube. Um, and this is like a collab palette with Heart and Makeup Revolution. So I wasn't actually gonna include this palette in the video originally, but I want to use a black and I like the black from this. So, and you can say that I was also influenced by this palette because I like her and it's a good palette. So let's go into that. This is also why I wanted to do my face after because this can be a wee bit messy. I'm just going to go with this little liner brush and let's pray, let's all hope and pray that it goes all right. Don't talk to me for a second. I've messed it up. It's just too big. Oh god, I think it's a bit of a mess. Okay. Honestly, it's a bit much. I wanted to kind of do like the smoked out eyeliner, but it's not really worked very well. Oh well, I'll go with it for now. And then if they're really bad, I'll fix them later. Right, now onto the base makeup. <laughs> to start off, I'm going to be using the Vive Skin Nova. So you can kind of see that I was influenced into buying this, but it's also my only primer right now. So fine, basically Jamie and Genevieve influenced me into buying this because it's her from her brand, but I am using it because it's my only one. I'm actually gonna go and like clean off my fallout and then I'll be back in two seconds. So yeah, I've spoken about Vive quite a few times on my channel. It is Jimmy Genevieve's makeup line. And I've been watching Jimmy Genevieve like since I got into YouTube. She was probably one of the first major people that I watched. Um, obviously she's Scottish and yeah, I just really like her. So I've just messed up that eyeshadow by putting my primer on. This is what I don't get about when people do eyeshadow before makeup. Like I've just pure messed it up. I'm gonna tidy it after and hopefully it'll look better. <sighs> okay, next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now there are a number of people that I watch on YouTube that have influenced me to buy this, but I believe the first person was actually also Jamie Genevieve. I promise that all these products are not gonna be Jamie Genevieve, but yeah. She has used this for ages and just uses it like as a base under makeup or on kind of like no makeup makeup days. So I'm gonna use this like as the majority of my, my base and add like another foundation to it as well, but I've been doing this recently and I think it looks quite nice. So just kind of adding it to my whole face. <coughs> Excuse me, that was quite dramatic. So just having this and then I'm going to add another foundation. So this is the original, no it's not. This is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. It's so watery. <laughs> you need to like really, really shake it up before you use it, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference to be honest. But the influencer that influenced me to buy this was Sophie Floyd. So I think she is on YouTube. I think she's also on Instagram. She's super cool. I want to be like her. But yeah, she used this. It's super affordable. It's like six pounds. I think it comes in quite a lot of shades. I used the shade uh, 1.2N, which I think is actually a wee tad too late for me, but it kind of does the job. So yes, that is who influenced me to buy this. I got this like last lockdown. I think I found her... I think I found her channel at the start of lockdown and I bought this like back in like about two oh my god about two years ago holy crap that would have been yeah about two years ago that's mad um I think I might do this first and then just add that for a wee bit extra coverage I don't know why I'm using my brush I normally choose my hands this can go in with your hands and it's just like it's just gorgeous I've been using it a lot recently just in its own with concealer and I think it's very pretty so now that I've added that, I'm just going to add a 
tiny little bit of this one. Um, just in the bits where I want kind of more coverage, I don't know. Oh, I've not got it. It's kind of stressing me out this wee pump, pump thing. Yeah, it's so watery. I'm going to put quite a bit down my neck to cover up this thing on my face. Okay, let's go. It is quite light, but just because it's so thin, it just kind of shears away. Which is nice. Yeah, I've put a wee bit much on. But oh well, I'm going out, so I want it to look nice. Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, Loose Setting Powder. And I can't think of one individual in particular, in particular that influenced me to buy this. I think it was basically all of Beauty YouTube. I feel like everyone has been talking about this for years and I've never purchased it. And yeah, I think just everyone, everyone that's influenced me to buy it. Oh, before a concealer, I'm actually going to put on concealer. No, before a powder, I'm actually going to put on concealer. So this is the Fenty Instant Retouch Concealer and this also was influenced by Sophie Floyd. Unfortunately, I think my colour is a wee bit light for me, so I don't use it all too often. Uh, this is the shade 185 and that's to kind of highlight and then I'm also going to use another concealer to cover up any blemishes and I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Concealer and the shade Mustard for my blemishes. This is running out, I've had this for so long and this was also Jamie G. Jamie G has influenced so many of my purchases, honestly, it's quite scary. Girl, the hold you have on me. This might be quite bright, so just bear with me. Tonight I'm going to like a function, so I feel like I can get away with doing more makeup. Or care. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Now I'm going to powder. And let's hope this doesn't make me look crazy. From the little powder thing, some powder ends up in the lid, and then I tend to just like swir swirl my brush around. It's so maybe a bit much as in the lid. And then apply it from there. I'm quite scared though. Don't know why. I'm just nervous. That looks better. Cool. Now I'm going to pop on some cream contour. This is the Sosu Contour Stick in the shade Cool. And I was influenced by this by Kaylee MUA. So when I bought this, Kaylee was still on YouTube, like, all the time. That was kind of her main mm, influence. Um, but since then, she's, like, massive on TikTok. She took a wee break from YouTube and then was, like, strictly doing TikTok. But now she's kind of, like, coming back into YouTube. So I'm very excited because I like her. I like kind of long-form content. So... I was very excited that she's back. However, I've not finished this. What do I have left? I've still got quite a bit left to be fair. If I was going to repurchase this, I would buy from Kaylee's brand. So she has a brand called Cash Beauty and they have a very similar contour stick. Um, I think it's basically the same. But Sosu were a brand that previously worked with Kaylee, but there was a wee bit of drama and I think there was like, they did something kind of shady to Kaylee. That's the tea. That is the beauty tea. So yeah, if I was going to buy it again, I would buy it from Kaylee's brand. But yeah, I'm going to just pop that on. I feel like my dad might have just left to get food and he's not offered me if I want any dinner. <gasps> my mum broke her ankle today. She's currently downstairs, lying on the couch because she can't move. She's got a big moon boot and all that. Not good. Broke it in two places. Shocking, really. I've been trying to help her, give a bit of assistance. Oh, and that's my dog barking because my dad's away. He's wildly attached. I've not been using this one in a while and I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury one. Which, like, is more liquid than this, so I'm kind of... Uh, I'm not blending it very well. I feel like that's just not even giving me a contour. I've just blended it, like, so far out. Maybe I should use a different brush. Or maybe it's too low. I might go back in powder to, like, make that a bit sharper. I am going to go back in with that powder and see if this works. Just try and, like, carve it out a wee bit. Looks a wee bit better. It doesn't look better, I'm just lying to myself. Oh well, I'll do. Okay, now I'm gonna go with bronzer. This is another Jamie G one. <laughs> but I think it's basically like one of the last ones, I think. Don't shout at me if it's not. I don't think it is. But anyway, I'm gonna go with the Vive Modern Bronzer in the shade Medium. This is pretty. It's like a two-tone blush, so you've got a kind of like lighter and then a darker shade, and I'm gonna go with the lighter one, which is one that I normally use. And I just use this big fluffy brush. I'm gonna try and like target it so that I'm not completely orange. You can see where I've bronzed like all around this wee head thing. <laughs> this is the most makeup I've worn in a while. I'm feeling quite glam. Now I'm going to do the under part of my eyeshadow. Hey, hey. So my phone died. Not died, but it got full. So I had to delete some stuff. Since the last time you saw me, I've had 
lemon chicken for my dinner. It's delicious. A wee half lemon chicken. I love a lemon chicken from the Chinese. And anyone that doesn't has no taste. And that's my opinion! Um, and I've also filled in my eyebrows and I think I tidied up my eye, my eye makeup a wee bit, but I might be looking rough again. Um, yeah, I've just filled them in using this. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And for this, I was influenced from also Soft Does Life. I was not convinced by this for a while. Like tonight, I feel like my, my brows look slightly blocky and chunky, but um, I just had to do it in a rush, to be honest. So yeah, but it's not too bad. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with Glossy Boy Brow. And this was influenced by Samantha Ravendall. She is like a stan of this, or she used to be at least. Mine's gonna run out, so I need to like dig deep for it. Um, but yeah, she has this like unfortunate luck that all the products that she likes get discontinued. So let's hope that this doesn't, because I like it. I kind of go between this and uh, Benefit Gimme Brow, but I kind of stopped using this and I used it again recently. And I think I might prefer this, I don't know. I think it's a wee bit like thicker. My brows are a wee bit short. I got them done and they're shorter than what they were. So I'm gonna need to get some like castor oil on them and try and grow them. These eyebrows are a little bit like, 2016 vibes or something like that. They're quite blocky and chunky, but oh well. I'm gonna put concealer on this wee thing on my nose. It just keeps coming back. Go away. I'll just leave it there for a wee bit. Okay, next I'm gonna go on the blush. I know I'm doing this in kind of a random order, but whatever. Um, This is the Pink Gasm by Charlotte Tilbury. This is constantly in stock, so hopefully when I'm making this video, this is in stock. But this was influenced by Julia Adams on YouTube. She is lovely. She just seems like such a lovely gal. She does lots of makeup testing videos. She's just extremely like calming to watch and she just seems like a genuinely nice person. Um, and I like her makeup style, so it's very like natural. I don't know if this is gonna be a bit intense with like a bit too pink for this look, so I'm not gonna put loads on. But I actually got this like before, I was influenced by Julia Adams before the whole internet was influenced by the Madison Beer, Beer video. I always got to say Madison Veer. I don't know why. Madison Veer. So I got it in like right before that. So that was why I was able to buy it because I think it got sold out for like so long after that. But it is really, really nice. It's very pigmented. So maybe I've actually put a wee bit too much on. It is nice. It gives you like a highlight as well, which I enjoy. I've kind of went off highlight a wee bit. Like I'm just not that fussed about it. I don't like my eyebrows. They look a bit intense for me. And then I'm also going to put a wee bit of powder blush on. And this is a blush that's very similar in shade to the Pinkgasm. So this is the Milani Luminoso blush. And this was also influenced by Soft Does Life. So let's pop this on. It's very like kind of pinky peachy. It's pretty. And it's okay to put on too much blush because it's like the thing that definitely goes the first, like first of all. So it's okay for it to be a bit more intense when, you st when you're doing your makeup start off with. I look a little bit crazy, but it's okay. Okay, next up is mascara. I'm gonna be careful with these. The other day I was doing this and I pinched down on my actual eyelid skin for so long without realizing. And I took it off and my eyelid skin was all like red and like almost bleeding. I was like, oh my God. So I need to watch out. I'm actually just gonna apply a tiny bit more shimmer. Should I maybe do a wee spray? Nah, I can't be bothered. Tiny bit more shimmer just to amp it up a bit. It's almost like a goldy greeny kind of shimmer. And now I'll go in with my curlers. This isn't like obviously a product, but Raw Beauty Christie. If you don't follow her, you need to follow her. She is amazing. And it really like religiously cut on my eyelashes. And now I do it like every time I do my makeup because she just told me the importance if you have rubbish lashes like me. And then I'm gonna go in with mascara. So for mascara, I have two, which I've been using for quite a while. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and this is the Maybelline Sky High. So, this one, as influenced by Soph Does Life, she used it and her eyelashes look insane. However, she does have insane eyelashes, but still, I was, I was persuaded as influenced. And this one, Samantha March loves this, and I use this. Oh my God, excuse me, my lemon chicken. <laughs> Um, this one, I don't really like my bottom lashes, so I use this my bottom lashes. I don't know if that's a bit extra, but I feel like I should have been drinking during this video because I'm actually about to go out and I've not even had a pre-beverage. I was planning on filming two videos tonight. I always swallow off more than I can chew. Chew more than I can swallow. Swallow more than I can chew. Bite off more than I can chew. <laughs> oh my god. I am 
absolutely awful with ter- like phrases. I always get them wrong. Nice. This makes my eyelashes look good and I do not have good eyelashes so if you're in the same boat I highly recommend. I normally dry my hair and then do my mascara because I feel like it always messes up my mascara if I, when I dry it. But oh well. Yeah tonight I was going to film a video about X. I asked on my Instagram and I've got loads of good ones so I'm like reacting to them. I was trying not to like read them when they were coming in because I really want to like have an authentic reaction. But yeah, I'm kind of gutted because I wanted to film that like after I was all made up, but I might just need to do it tomorrow instead. I love this mascara. Okay, and then the sky high for my bottom ones. That's me done everything except from lips. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Now, I think this is just like, again, influenced not by any particular individual, but just the internet. Like everyone obs is obsessed with this lip lipstick, lip liner, looks like. Also, I gave this to my sister. It was like a full lip liner, I'd barely used it. And she gave me it back and it's like this. It's like half a lip liner. I like Pillow Talk, but I don't think it's like the best lip liner I've ever used. I'm really like a kind of cheapo lip liner kind of gal. Rimmel, Revlon. Maybe not Revlon. Rimmel and Maybelline. I like their lip liners. And now I'm going to try this, but I'm not sure if it's going to look okay with the whole look. But this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Dewy Peach. And for this, I was influenced by... Alana Davidson. She is a Canadian influencer, YouTuber, and I really like her vibe. Mm. I don't know if this is a bit pinky for this look, or is it okay? I might keep it like this for now, but I might have changed my mind by the time I come back after I've washed my hair. I think I'm gonna go pop a wee bit of highlight on as well, just in my inner corner. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go and see what this looks like and do my hair, do everything, get changed. And I'll be back in a bit. See you. Okay, this is the finished look. The pink gloss actually looks, not gloss, the pink lippy actually looks okay altogether. I'm just wearing leather trousers, little bodysuit and this little blazer. My hair's a riot. I need to get good at doing hair. That is my, I don't know, I need to improve. I got myself a glass of, it's actually champagne. <laughs> Who do I think I am? But we're out of Prosecco, so I had some champagne from the engagement which I've not drank, so. Cheers. The makeup ended up okay. It's not bad. The eyeliner worked out okay. It's I didn't fix it at all. Um, I think it's just one of those like trust process things. I'm not feeling like the most confident, <laughs> but it's all right. The makeup, yeah, it's okay. But that's everything. I think I'm not feeling confident because I'm wearing leather trousers and they're so tight around my tummy. I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> it's not happening. So this will be a fun night. This could be interesting. Um, so yeah. That's why. And I just wish my hair was sitting a wee bit nicer, but it's not, so that's okay. Let's not be harsh on ourselves. Um, I'll just drink my bubbles. Okay, well, that is everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wonder if you've been influenced by anything that I've shown you throughout this video. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have been, or if there's any makeup products in your kind of routine that you have been influenced by other influencers, not that I'm an influencer, by people that you watch and that I need to try them because I'm always down to try new things and get some new favourites, so yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks again and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>